lot of the people who move here are kind of like, you know, just don't fit in very well with the average American civilization. You tell her. What are we? Rotten people. Got a lot of freedom here. That's our biggest commodity. A lot of the people who moved here were fairly educated and had felt like they were part of the revolution of the 60s. The rebellious kids who had maybe gone to California, hung out in San Francisco, being hippies. My dad taught us absolute freedom. You know, some people would call it the American dream, you know? what some people wish how they live. Dad. And it doesn't mean a capitalist American dream. It means like the free American dream. What America yeah. used to mean to people coming from other countries. But at the time, that was 1970, that era was starting to end and people were kind of moving off to the woods. There were about probably 200 kids living here. Ward formed itself its own town. Got a surveyor, made boundaries, and Ward became a town. We have like problems. We don't have to go to like the Boulder County Sheriff and have the whole problem get started. We can just locally handle things. And we yeah. Town Hall, Post Office, Free Box, uh, Free Box and Library, and now the radio station's right here too. Like we've always had a post office since the 1800s, they've never closed it down since then. Yeah, supposedly what and makes a town a town is a post office. It's one of the things, Legally. yeah. Home real municipality status, we don't um, have to follow as so many of the rules. Like water, things, Yeah. Like, don't have to really like... Uh, building codes. Winter. Hundred mile an hour winds. Gets down twenty below zero with a hundred mile an hour wind. And if you don't have your wood in and the snow piles up into drifts that are chest high. There's still a spirit of rebellion on the outskirts of it. A lot of the people that, that they're proud to say, I live up, I live up where the weather's harsh.